Hello everyone, this is Alex from ITSystem.org. I'd like to show you today the new features that come with Fedora version 15, the final version released on May 24. By default, the new desktop comes with a main panel in the top side area of the screen and a notification panel in the bottom side, right about here. As we can see, in the top panel we have three applets activities, date and time, and a list of quick settings. Starting from the right top side, we shall have user settings for statuses for uh, instant messaging, account and system settings, and session controls. Next we have battery and power settings, network settings, sound settings, and universal access settings. The date and time menu also shows a calendar with the current uh, date, the, the day, the month, the number, and the year. Also it allows us to configure date and time settings for uh, the position of uh, where we are and what is uh, the, the uh, clock settings for our region and also allow us to configure the mail client. Finally the activities button here which we can either click it move the cursor in that direction which is corner top left or we can just uh, hit the Windows key the Windows button from the keyboard that is between control and alt keys just as like in Windows okay uh, the activities area unveils four or five, let's say, aspects. In the left side we have a panel which shows us the favorite applications. Uh, here we have Windows and in this area where we work uh, there are shown the windows that are also minimized and also the windows that are shown on the desktop. Uh, also on the right side we have a list of virtual desktops and here we have an utility which allows us to search from our list of applications by a certain word or uh, beginning from a certain list of characters such as calculator, let's type calculator and it should show us um, calculator as a result there is an application that is installed that starts with C, A, L, C and uh, if we want to search something for, I don't know what, uh, wallpapers and there is no result for applications then we can uh, search for Google we just click Google and we shall have results for wallpapers or we can just uh, hit Wikipedia and will show us um, uh, it will show us results for wallpaper wallpapers from the Wikipedia uh, database <coughs> okay um, let's talk now about several functions for Windows management okay let's open up uh, a, an application. Let's say we want to open Nautilus. 
and let's say we want to maximize it. We will click on the title bar and hold holding it and we drag it to the top and we can see that there is uh, now available a perimeter that turns blue like blue glass and we release the mouse button and the window will be maximized if we want to return it to its former state we just click here and we move it downwards like this if we want to position it on left or right side of the screen we just do the same but with the direction we bring it back and we put it to the right side <coughs> also the area allows us to open new applications and also create new virtual desktops how do we do that? we go to activities we see that we have our widow here and if we go to the right side where there is the list of virtual desktops we'll see that now there are two virtual desktops one that contains the window and one that is clean that does not have any window if we can go there just by clicking there we will see that the desktop doesn't contain any window we just click back and let's say we want to open an application into another virtual desktop how do we do that? we just drag a application from the favorites panel into a new virtual desktop and we release the button okay uh, if that didn't work well we can just uh, drag it from here and put it in the new virtual desktop now we have three virtual desktops ok uh, let's see how we can add application to the favorites panel just go to applications and we will see a list of all the applications here by filtering to all also we can filter to accessories uh, let's say office uh, sound and video let's put um, I don't know movie player we just drag it and we position it here as you can see now the movie player becomes a favorite application if we want to delete it we just drag it from here and we put it to the trash uh, trash icon and now it's been removed ok well overall this is uh, these are the main features of uh, the graphical environment um, I've been testing uh, the previous uh, versions the pre-release, the beta and the alpha versions and I've discovered that uh, Fedora also supports by default several graphic tablets for uh, drawing, for development and also for several scanners and printers that did not have driver support in the older versions such as 14, 13 and this means that we can just uh, plug uh, the cable of a scanner and it will go, it will work without requiring any driver in the end, let's see how to change the desktop background. I'll close this. <coughs> I'll go to uh, the windows uh <coughs> uh, into the uh, users settings. Uh, 
and I'll click system settings and here I'll choose background and uh, here I have a list of wallpapers let's say we chose this one or choose this one well I prefer this one because it's more practical okay I'll close this and um, also we can see that in the users uh, panel, uh, users applet uh, there is no shutdown or restart button there is only suspend in order to to access the restart and power off buttons you have to move the cursor onto the suspend and while holding ALT from the keyboard you will see power off you can click it and you will see restart and power off I will not uh, power off or restart, I will choose cancel and and uh, I hope that um, you enjoyed this uh, review and uh, if you'd like to view more of our stuff about computer science um, visit our website and sus subscribe to our channel on YouTube well that's being said goodbye